I hope you are uh, doing great and here is the problem is PHP IntelliSense showing me these two pop-up messages that PHP executable not found. It happen whenever we open a PHP file and uh, this is so annoying but uh, it's not that but PHP Insulated Intelligence is a nice uh, extension and it has great feature and we lose it when this pop up we see. It's because that this pl uh, extension is not getting the PHP path correctly. So let's fix it go to the open setting uh, from this pop-up and in extension let's find the php intelligence uh, maybe down there more and here you go and from here edit in settings dot json so you see this path was fine before but after updating uh, mac os it's not working anymore. So here is macOS version Monterey. So we have to install the PHP. So I'm using Brew and uh, installing the PHP. Uh, before we don't have to install the uh, PHP because uh, Mac OS come with PHP, but nowadays it's not. So I am trying to install PHP 7.4 because I work with WordPress and WordPress yet not fully supported with PHP 8. So I am good with PHP 4, uh, PHP 7.4. You can do it yourself. And I'm I have to install PHP uh, in Mac because I am not using. Uh, MAMP or AMP who has PHP themselves and we can uh, get their PHP executable but I'm using uh, flywheel by local um, I don't get that so I have to install PHP and you can it's it's fine to install PHP in your system so let's uh, uh, go through that and come back when installed okay so i think the php has uh, installed and let's check again uh, in visual studio code and yes uh, the uh, pop-up is still showing and th there is uh, executable uh, not found so let's open the settings again and we have to update the path php dot validate that executable path let's open our finder and check where it is it has installed in your system i think you can get this message um, after installing the php with brew so i have to uh, give this path in my bash profile so let's copy this part and paste it press enter so our php path will be in bash profile so let's close the previous one and reopen it so that we can see the update yes there is two new lines and down there and it's updated properly now let's check the php version uh, in our uh, terminal php dash v and nothing happened because this terminal load the previous bash let's reopen the terminal close it open again and check again so yeah the php looks nice the php 
is working fine in our uh, with uh, Mac OS. So let's fix this path. We'll open the USR, then local. Let's update this path local slash and it should be not in bin it should be in opt so inside opt we can find our php with the version that should be uh, php at the rate 7.4 here it is so let's uh, update the path again that is user local opt slash uh, it should be the folder name of the installed uh, php at the rate 4.4 let's copy it and paste it over here then bin should be bin yes and it should be and you see the php executable file over there so we we put that uh, path correctly i think yeah check it right so just copy it and put it in php validate execute path value and there is another path we have to fix that is php cs executable path and it's in user local bin slash php cs let's check uh, if we have that file or not it was from the previous version but i think this time also it will work so user local bin and php cs let's press p and yes the file is there so i think that's fine let's save it and we have to restart our vs code let's open it again oh, there is no errors so thank you for watching and if you like it just let me know in comment bye